can edit in learning animation again. Animation. <laughs> yeah, I've been I've been working on snow. I'm gonna I will show you something. No, I hey, you you haven't got something like what I got behind me with the more singing carols. That would be quite nice to have because I'm gonna put something out on Monday tomorrow. Uh, so I'll show you one of my latest efforts if I can find the bugger. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'll stop that just a minute. Admit Sam. And where's it gone? Where are you? Has everybody gone? Oh, here it is. Right. We get this back. Sam's coming in. We let Sam come in, and then I put the uh, put my animation on. Well, in fact, you you probably hey there, Sam. Yep. Yeah. Just clicking the buttons. Yep. All right, great. Oh, you just in time. It is three. Just in time to see some. Okay. What, it's what I've been working on. Late the uh -huh. last couple of days is animations. I've been working on. Hang on. Okay. So, what you got to think of is everything's moving, right? So all this I made this all myself. All right. So it's pissing down with snow. I know it's a, I know it's an island and everything. But then, the snow starts to build up. So is that the moon rising then? That's the moon rising, yeah. Yeah. Right. Now, I'm I'm quite pleased with the results of this because the snow looks almost sort of realist. Yeah. And the build up of snow on it and everything and. I love the moon has got his little uh, thing behind him, his little halo, his outline. Yeah, his trail. His trail, yeah. that's it. And all of a sudden, then he gets up to full volume, and he comes up, and he just opens up and says, Hi, everybody. Here he comes. That's him. So there we are, and the snow is there now, and everything, and snow and palm trees and everything. So I'm stoked. <laughs> Are you good? I, was, I was waiting for you to actually speak. No, no, no. Don't put the sound on yet. That's the vision. Oh. My internet is unstable. Hey, okay. hey, boys. All right. Hi, Rob. Hi, so Stratford and Avon, was that a kind of a, a pre festive brick or No, that... well it was there was plenty of that, but uh, it was some friends of ours who used to live in Alp Church in the West Midlands. All right. And um, friends of ours. I know what you've been doing. I know what you've been doing. I was Morris dancing, yes. You were Morris, weren't you? You were Morris, weren't you? Uh, you were in a press Not thinking anybody would see me. Yeah. Morris Festival. Yeah, it was, festival, was, it? <clears throat> yeah, it was, it was a local and it was a yeah, dark. Church, yeah, Morris was... dancers were performing in Stratford and we were staying there. So uh, we went along because some of my friends were in them in, in the team. So uh, I got yeah. dragged in. Did you go did you go and have yeah. Morris, did you? I had a full Morris. Oh fuck it. No sure you... if you wouldn't take the piss and put me on there. Did, so, uh, so, did you did you did you have to learn the steps or did you busk it? No, no, I used to be in, in the Alpchurch Morris team for 20 years. All right. A serious Morris, man, I tell you. Very serious business. Yeah. Blackface Morris. Yeah. Now we can't got... use that term anymore. Yeah, these it's green, green face, face Morris now. <laughs> they were performing in, in Birmingham one day and they got abused by, by some people who thought that uh, being dressed up as black people pretending black people was uh, something horrendous and uh, against um, very non-pc 
a bit of a fight yeah. broke out, and in the end, they've decided now that all the black face Morris in Britain, who used to be black face Morris for the last hundred and two hundred years, have now got to go green. So they're now called green face Morris dancers green. to be PC. Right. Isn't that ridiculous? Isn't that? Yeah. Don't even talk. Don't go there, Carl. That, that would have been you mental. I find it. It, re- it might have been. Uh, in, in line with um do you remember you maybe just about remember when the the jam company robertson's and their logo used to be yeah. a golly one and if you bought so yeah. many jars of jam you collected the little labels yeah. vouchers, you sent them off and you had got, um you know a little a model about this yeah. size and yeah. uh so i collected loads and I was able to put together two bands so one was like a uh, like a jazz band musical instruments sax guitar not long after the time i started djing or run or maybe before so that's you know late 60s and i made a little wooden platform with on the front of it looked like a stage and you and a handle on the end and i mounted all these this band on the front and i came up with a name for them and the, and it was called the Gollywog Nignog Boogaloo Band. Oh my God, he can't say that. It's, 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 get that one off the screen, Con. Oh, 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 we didn't hear that. We didn't hear that, did we? This, this, yeah, that. this, was, that. this was about 19, 1968, 67, even, you know. And uh, I had it. I was quite proud. You know, it was uh, just a, a, a fun thing. But um, of course, they, they don't even make them now, do they? Those things. Do they still use them as an emblem on the jams? Robinsons. I, no I don't think I they doubt do. it. I doubt it. I oh, don't think they Robinsons, do. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Robinsons, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> I love it. That's what I love it. I love you, you could have a little enamel badge if you wanted. Yeah, yeah. You know, a model I, for I a badge. The enamel badge. Yeah. They, they did the whole I still got the band. I've been at it. Sports, when they did musical they did sports. Reading, writing. Yeah. Ah, those are the days. What are they singing <laughs> behind you, Michael? What are they singing? Ark. Uh, I'm not Ark. sure yet. Ark, the El good. Angel sing. Yeah, I was waiting for Tom Ark. to come up. Then. <gasps> Hang on a second. Uh, I'm going to get you something up now. Okay. Right. When he's doing that, I was speaking to your friend today, Kipper, Francesca. Oh, yes. How is she? She's all right. She's, yeah. She said, oh, you know a friend of mine. Oh, there they are. Uh, yeah. Yeah. She was um, telling me, uh, uh, well, inferring the political difficulties with the uh, Mumbles uh, Council. Yeah. yeah it's a and, uh, you know, it's, something's got to change down there. Yeah. Well, there you go, Sam. Yeah. So it all. No, it's good. Uh, it's all gonna uh, hopefully it's gonna come up. I'm on. Uh, quite straight, quite strange yeah, that yeah. um that's them, yeah. That was it. Yeah, yeah I'd, I'd, I'd them all, you know. It's, <laughs> it was, uh, oh, the <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, they, they're quite collectible now, Sam. I bet. Really? I'll be up to the attic and get them though. Yeah, uh, the gold, the gold is... you're, not, you're not allowed to advertise them anywhere. No, <laughs> you don't go on the dark web to buy them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they, they call. I think they call them something else now, don't they? They call them advertising material or something like that. Yeah, and uh, they don't call them fuzzy wuzzies anymore. Then, no, 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 no. no. I'm, I'm not even sure if Gollywog is a band band word. Is it? I think it is. It depends if he's used as a derogatory term. No, you could say golly, golly, golly gosh. We can't say the word golly gum golly OG because that implies they're a, a, a WOG. Something like that. It's very, I'm, sorry, I'm trying to be politically correct here. You're digging a bit of a hole, yeah, Con. I'd start digging a bit of a hole. I'm throwing away the spade now, I think. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. No. You know, the bit that people put down all the time, OMG, so it doesn't actually mean, oh my, does it? Oh my golly. <laughs> oh my golly gosh. <laughs> oh my golly. Oh my, oh, OMGW. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. 
Ooh, we're going to see if we're going to get this one banned. <laughs> of course, the religious community are not really happy with it. O OMG, are they? Really? Is there another another political group? I can understand too. But I suppose they'll say, oh no, it, it, my meaning was gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness like, gracious all, me. All those things that people sign off and use. That one, what's it now? <laughs> is it, do I get it right? L M A O, is it? Love my ass off. Yeah. <laughs> And that other one, oh, um, I M O P. In the, oh, I, uh, in, the in, my say, in my honest opinion, uh, well, I always say, what other kind of opinion would you be giving? Well, it's my bullshit big, opinion. Hence the term. To be honest, what do you mean? To be honest, what? Sometimes you're not honest then. Yeah. Yeah. T B H and T T B F are used quite a lot as well, aren't they? What's T B H? Or oh, to be honest, that's it, yeah. yeah. What's TBS, then? Fair. That's what. To be fair. To be fair. Yeah. Oh, well, well, yeah. I, had, I had a rare one the other day. Fair, fair dues. Fair dues, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to use his FFS. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was uh, that was uh, uh, open all that was um, where, Rod, uh, where Granville used to start out, wasn't it? Fair, 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 fair. <laughs> I think Max Boyce used to use that in his act very early on. Did he? Say fair do a lot, yeah. 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 And then he changed it to well. It might be a Welshism, you know, things that we accept and actually they haven't gone out the bounds of uh, of, of Wales, some humour lines, mm. you know, colloquialism. Yeah. How did your um, drumming session go? Oh great! Yeah, it all went according to plan. It was a, it was a bit cold, but we, uh, we should have prepped for it. Thermals on. I mean, the one thing you can't do really is wear gloves, you know, because you you need to have your hands on on your batchy, the sticks, you know. But it, it it went all well, and I did a bit of prep so that um, where we set up on the pavement, allowing a meter for people to walk by. Well, of course, right in front of the end of the pavement was the lay-by, officially for loading only. Well, nobody on a, on a Saturday lunchtime is loading or unloading. So I made some barriers out of some parrots, uh, some um, pallets I'd come by, painted them all up uh, black, put some extra bits of timber in them, put our logo on them, and then stuck them out in the lay-by, encouraging people, well, you can stand here and watch us, but don't go in the road, which worked well most of the time mm -hmm. until some people walking by went on the outside of the barriers and walked along the road i thought no no but you know it went well so we played for an hour you know with, with breaks in between the guy was happy paid us and then uh, and that was yeah i haven't got any uh I, I got pictures on my phone but they don't actually come up but if you go I've to my page, on my page there's um i think somebody has posted some still shots a yeah. friend of mine who came along and they posted the still shots on it you know i saw a couple yeah, my question is, do you have names for your, I don't know what you call them, your drums, songs, or whatever drums. they are? Yeah. No, not for oh, the drums. Oh, yeah, that, that's right. The strange thing is, when, yeah, yeah, when the, um, when the, the kind of the leader of the of the group, who's been most, you know, the one who's done most for it, she's totally obsessed with the whole thing. But every time, we call, she refers to them as songs. And, be, and because I'm spending a lot of time within the music thing, I'm quite pedantic. No, seriously, no, excuse me. It can't be a song. It doesn't have any words. <laughs> if it doesn't have any words, it's not a song. But the phrase is, yeah, we, we do call them all something. So they all have a name, you know, and they all have different arrangements of how we start. Peace, what the middle is like. Peace is name. It's a piece. A piece, yeah, I would say it's a piece, you know. It's a but, piece of music, yeah. Yeah, it's a piece, yeah. So we we Give me a name one of them. I what? Give well, me one a name of the first. Well, well, the first one uh, we usually start off uh, for the last couple of times we've been doing a show. It's called the Mitsuchi Train. So a Mitsuchi is the style of of beat, and it's more or less like um, a, a back beat, which is then. Um, just the rhythm piece. 
because if you see on a lot of the videos i'm at the back of the group playing a small drum which is called a shimmy and it's and it's quite a, it's almost like a like a snare that with no wires attached and you would literally play the the, the back beat just just the metronome you know but then uh, the the train bit is what we tacked on to it because when we started somebody starts off with the back beat and then the rest of the troop come along and put another pattern on top of it and then there's another one called the sami goma they're all names with japanese heritage to them you know oh, yeah. yeah and some of the ones we're learning uh uh you, you, you sometimes it's a totally different move and a lot of it is not just the the particular rhythm on the drum it's the moves that go with it you know in between you're doing a high right up high arm back next one coming this way with your arm out that way and it's all sort of uh tied in are the drums all in the front all the same or are they all different the uh the ones that we normally put in the front uh, they're called mirrors uh and they're all uh, roughly the same size about um or just over two foot tall just under two foot wide uh with a with a you know diameter of the of the top you know they slightly curve in there's one which has got ropes tied to the side that's called an okado and then we've got a like a gong like his master's voice which gives the you know a bit of infill and there's oh. other metal percussion bits we use a bit like i think called a chapa is where you might identify with what you used to see the harry krishna people using like little hand symbols Oh, yeah. and things like that you know. and do you own them but in they... within do you what do you own them what was that like? or are they part of the group yeah yeah we yeah no we usually most of the people in the group have bought their own drum but then the group as a group we've invested and and bought drums as well so that when we get newcomers coming along we have a stock of drums for them to learn on but we sort of pool all our drums we keep them in the same place, more or less, and they are the group's drums, even though we own them individually. Mm, right, yeah. But then sometimes if a skin goes through, if one of the skins goes, um, it then it can cost about um, oh between three and four hundred pounds to get the skin repaired. You know. Really? So mm. when that happened to my drum, uh, or a couple of years ago, uh, while it was being played. You know by somebody else or it would have been the same as me the group then paid for its repair out of our funds you know oh that's pretty cool yeah yeah it's quite cool. <coughs> within tiger itself you see some of the videos and some of the drums are huge you know about three or four foot across and, and then, you know, is it japanese? like a, is it japanese the, what? the japanese, japanese yeah are they yeah are they... that's what that's what Tiger is. Right, no, but the, the, the um, um, the, we do do our chants. We count in Japanese. Each ni so re is the is the one, two, three, four. We're in, and uh, there's a greeting before we start where you'll take a little a bow and show care for each other. So the traditions are uh, are a bit Japanese. That's where it's drawn from, you know. Mm-hmm. Even though lots of modern day Taiko now, because it's happened. It's a it's a Japanese thing going back hundreds and hundreds of years, but as the Japanese have spread out the world, uh, say America, for instance, as an example, um, when you get a lot of people from one culture living in another country, what do they want to do? Hang on to their heritage, so they want to do things that their their culture either does or did in their home country. So in America, there are loads of Taiko groups playing and a lot of the world-class taiko instructors are american you know and we have them come visit us and teach us new styles and things you know sorry well i i did ask i said the skins are yeah they picked or they made of something else oh no they're animal they're um, very well very well looked after animals that have gone to the you know we we, we dusted are them. they are they pig animals i don't think they don't think pig be big enough no no oh no they i mean to get the skin because you gotta have a skin about oh uh maybe 
three to four foot. That's, a, that's half a cow. That is. Yeah. 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 You. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm just not sure about religious animals in Japan. That's all. That's why I was asking. Yeah. Well, they must. Be, they must have some opt-out clause. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like when that Japanese restaurant in Mumbles opened up, when I you know, the big blue one. Well, on one gable end is the name of the restaurant, and on the other gable end, facing the pier, I thought, oh, so what is that up there? Well, like, it turns out it's it's a, it's a carp, a fish. And yeah. I thought, is that their speciality? No, no, that's like they 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 bow down to the carp. Apparently, mm -hmm. they don't eat it. You know. The carp is a sacred cow, kind of thing. It's you know? like the koi carp, isn't it? They, yeah, they um, it. worth a fortune. Yeah. What, just in its presence, or worth this worth a fortune for what? To buy them cost a fortune. What do you do with it when you buy it? You keep it in the tank and look at it. Ah, right. There we are. Worship it. Like, it. <laughs> it's a bit like a painting, you know. But it's moving. It's the only yeah. difference. Yeah, it Look, looks nice, but no way is it worth fifty million. Yeah. And then it dies, and not worth anything. <laughs> they, they last a long time, don't they? They do. Paintings are quite good. You over a couple of million. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, it's all about breeding, isn't it? Come on. I don't understand koi carp, but yeah. it's, it's a bit like horses, I think. Mm. Yeah. And it costs a lot to breed with it. So he buys yeah. eggs like four hundred pounds each or something. Mm. Something ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> so uh, they, they they wouldn't be able to put up on a on a Japanese restaurant or in a restaurant you know that way. Like you say, close for lunch. They couldn't put up gone fish in. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 is it, isn't it this one group of people? Is it? I don't, I don't think it's Ukrainians. Polish? Is it? That like carp? Isn't that like a traditional Christmas no, dinner? It's, it's goose. No, it's not. Is it goose or is it no, swan? It's, it's, it's swan, it is. They go around <laughs> killing all the bloody swans. It's, it's definitely one of the fish we don't eat. Yeah. Carp on toast. I'm sure it's carp. Carp on toast. No idea. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, I, I got a, 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 a friend. Swans. I'm sure it's friend. Polish con that they yeah. eat carp. Yeah. <laughs> I got a friend, one of the guys who used to be in, in the band a while ago, and uh, is, is, is two other things apart from music, is photography and fishing. And all through the year, he's always posting up pictures, and he does a great karma from it. He does this kind of, uh, he doesn't do sea fishing, he, go, he usually goes to lakes and ponds and things. Sets himself up early in the morning with his little little tenty thing his chair and he always and the pictures he takes are lovely that because in early morning either with the sun coming up or a mist still over the lake and then at the end of it he shows a picture he's holding this oh almost two foot carp or something but of course they all go back don't they you know you yeah. just say hello and there you are mate and I, I never could get could get fishing i can maybe get the forced chilling bit that goes with it you know and the other bit where the guys um, say to their wives, I'm just going fishing. You know, it's like having a shed, isn't it? But, uh, oh, when we were young, we used to go fishing all the time, yeah? We were in a single boat in Lake and Brimmel. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I never quite uh, can get it, but I've seen a van with a sticker on it said, um, uh, was it now? Uh, it's for, some, oh, that's right, work is for people who don't know how to fish. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Get a great thing out of it. All weather sometimes, isn't it? Carp mm bread -hmm. in Poland, Christmas Eve. Is that yeah. what it says? Because I, I, I yeah. googled it and it said it said all the fish, but the uh, carp was the first one. But um... if you put carp Christmas dinner, it says carp in Poland are often purchased live in the run-up to Christmas, before being slaughtered fresh to eat for supper on Christmas Eve. Yeah. Well, there we go. I uh, I just googled something eat this evening relative to the time of year coming up, and I thought, um, because Kim had uh, she added on stock, she must have bought it a couple of years ago, the um, uh, National Lampoon Christmas Vacation film. So as it, as it came on, I thought I and I thought to myself, when did 
the Americans or anybody, when did the, the phrase holidays instead of Christmas begin? So I Googled it and I came, you know, tried to find out what, what was this thing of happy holidays, holidays, as opposed to Christmas. I know you got the religions things, but it, it, um, it goes back to about 18, 1840 odd when uh, the powers that be in America decided to give everybody a holiday, the workers, on Christmas Day. So it was a holiday. And then it seemed as it sort of trucked along, uh, if you want to reference what is, it says it's the period between Thanksgiving and another thing which gets my goat, the term New Year's. Not New Year, it's New Year's. Well, if you're referring to New Year's Eve, say New Year's Eve. If you're saying New Year's Day, say New Year's Day. But the term New Year's, it's so loose, but that's the period that they ended up calling the holidays. And then it was sort of to encompass the, what's the Jewish one? Uh, Haka, Maka Haka? Yom Kippur. No, Yom Kippur. No, I don't know. No. Yom Kippur. Uh, but yeah. was, because the guy in, in the movie, he said it. Uh, but I thought it's like swallowing the pill, I think. It's like so many people before him. Uh, I, 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 in origin, I would have thought holidays would have just been a great globalization so they didn't have to remarket everything. You know, yeah, this is like the Easter holidays, but they don't say Easter, they just say holidays. Yeah. Or Whitson, they don't say Whitson, they say holidays. So all their marketing is just holiday marketing, you know, instead of having Whitson or Easter, so they can sort of in the change it yeah maybe yeah it's a bit like when there's um when there's a bank holiday monday coming up the whole weekend is called a bank holiday weekend no it's the monday which is a bank holiday the saturday and sunday have nothing bank holiday about them well they, they do don't they a holiday came from Holy Day, which was Sunday. When there was so, no mention, there was no mention of that. Of no. Being Holy Day, it was strange. I thought that. Oh, Holy Day. Well, it, it did because it, it, I'm sure it was in about that. You mentioned I thought it was about 1820s, where they suddenly decided in some places to give people a day off on Sunday to go to church because it was a holy day, and that's yeah, well, that's where it came from. Yeah, yeah. So, but then it's a, have a little do a, do a little a Google search. It is quite um, complex. The you know the uh, the reasoning. But there's one piece which does do a story of the 1840, and then also um, I think it's either before or after the First World War. There was a tack in there to where things came along, you know. But it's really strange because among all the blurb, they do reference Christmas, and you know it, it does get. But it's 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 the, the holidays. So when is Thanksgiving? End of November, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So I can't imagine what they have between the end of November and December the twenty fifth to have holidays. Like I still flinch when I'm seeing all the Christmas films coming on, all the lights going up in the windows. I'm full on Scrooge when Christmas is rammed down my throat. It's still three weeks away. So you count uh, two weeks prior to now and another week after. Oh, this, this whole thing is lasting for about six weeks. Since mid November, man. You what? Yeah. Decorations up since mid November. Oh, no. It takes away the punch of the event. No, it's. Are you supposed to maintain this high for three weeks? We're going to go off in a minute. Are we, are we all coming back in? Uh, sorry, I, I don't think I am. I, no. I am. I thought we were... was first came up in the fifteen hundreds, apparently. There we go. Uh -huh. You've got all knowledge, Mike. You uh, 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 I'll put it back on in, in case anybody does want to come yeah, in. I'll, I'll be back off. Probably. Yeah, I'll, I'll see you all uh, next week. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay then. Take care, Mike. Cheers, Mike. Yeah. Are we going back in, Sam? Uh, more, like, more likely not. Okay. All right. Catch up next week. Only when you say. Yeah. When you say something important, just you're about to say it, then it goes. Yeah, I know. Yeah.
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.